The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as we close out the week on this Saturday, the 25th of June, in the book of Ruth, today, chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Let us hear God's word together and pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord from the book of Ruth, chapter 4, verses 1 through 6, entitled, Boaz redeems Ruth. Now Boaz had gone up to the gate and sat down there, and behold, the Redeemer of whom Boaz had spoken came by. So Boaz said, Turn aside, friend, sit down here. And he turned aside and sat down. And he took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit down here. So they sat down. Then he said to the Redeemer, Naomi, who has come back from the country of Moab, is selling the parcel of land that belonged to our relative Elamech. So I thought I would tell you of it and say, Buy it in the presence of those sitting here and in the presence of the elders of my people. If you will redeem it, redeem it. But if you will not, tell me that I may know, for there is no one besides you to redeem it. And I come after you. And he said, I will redeem it. Then Boaz said, The day you buy the field from the hand of Naomi, you also acquire Ruth, the Moabite, the widow of the dead, in order to perpetuate the name of the dead in his inheritance. Then the Redeemer said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I impair my own inheritance. Take my right of redemption yourself, for I cannot redeem it. So far the word of the Lord. Boaz acts boldly on behalf of Naomi and Ruth to secure their future and their family inheritance. Today, God calls us to act with wisdom on behalf of the helpless, to perpetuate their life and share with them the inheritance of eternal life. Let us pray. O oh Jesus, my inheritance is rich from you. Give me a bold heart to share what I have received from your word and blessings. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. We continue now in prayer on this 25th day of June and the Pray For Us calendar and the prayer of the church, the last one for this week. Dear Lord, with thanksgiving for LBN Pastor of Good Lutheran, Good Shepherd Lutheran Home, which provides a safe and nurturing facility for young people with developmental disabilities. We pray that you continue to be with all the workers and people present there. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, you are worthy to be held in reverence by all people. We give you our most humble and hearty thanks for the immeasurable blessings you have bestowed upon us, unworthy and undeserving though we be. Bring us to the acknowledgement of your grace and goodness and fill our hearts with the desire to worship you above all things and to serve you in holiness and righteousness all the days of our lives. Merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are bold to confess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We are bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.